Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Josh and Outdoors. In today's video, um, I'm still up here in the Alexandria, Minnesota area. Um, we're on a private pond again, fishing in the same ice house that we did uh, in the last video. If you guys haven't seen the last video, we totally smoked a big old pike. I caught a 10 pounder and two of them were over 34 inches. And yeah, it was just an awesome trip. But yeah, today is the second day and I just got my tip up set up and we got this ice house all set up. I got the spear and everything just ready to roll. Anyways, uh, let's get fishing and hopefully uh, we'll get some fish. It's just me in this ice house today. Alex is set up there. That's Alex's grandpa set up way down there and then there's Aiden. So um, we're all set up in different shacks. So we're gonna be all in different areas. So hopefully that means more fish will come through and yeah, I'll let you know when we get the next fish. So we got a sucker minnow down there and then this decoy. This is the one that I won. It's a super cool looking decoy and it has really good action. So hopefully we can draw some fish in with this and yeah. Well, it's been about a half an hour and I haven't seen anything. I texted Alex and Aiden and they still haven't even seen anything either. And um, I'm thinking I might just switch up the decoy. I don't know if it'll make a difference, but might as well try something new. I'm gonna switch back to that red and white one that I used yesterday. That one seemed to bring in a bunch of fish. So here's that red and white one that I used yesterday quite a bit. Got him! Got him, baby! No! I hit him! Gosh. Oh, that sucks. Missed him twice. He's right back. No way. Got him. Got him in the back. I got him. Let's go, baby! Holy crap. I can't believe he came back three times. There's no way that just happened. All right guys, here's the fish that I just speared. Um, I cannot believe it came back three different times just to uh, get that sucker minnow. He inhaled that thing like, and he was just sucking on it and I threw it down and I missed him twice. And then finally, last time, it was a terrible shot, but I got him in the back. I just, I wanted to get him like, <laughs> cause I already missed him twice and I don't know, I just, I had, I had to take the shot and try to just get him right in the middle just so I knew for a fact that I got him. And uh, I mean, it's not a giant, but it's a quality fish nonetheless. But uh, yeah, oh, my heart is absolutely pounding once again. That's, it's just crazy how much your adrenaline just rushes right when you see that fish come in. But yeah, uh, it's really cold out here. So I think I'm gonna get back inside, but um, yeah, hopefully some bigger ones come in. I know Alex's grandpa, he just, uh, right as I stuck mine, then he just stuck a 27 incher. And this one's probably about 27, 28, maybe. I don't know, I'll have to measure it. But anyways, hopefully we all start to get them. And yeah, let's get back inside the shack. All right guys, we just got this on the tape and measured out to be just about, actually a little bit over 28. So that's a good fish right there. Freaking missed them again. What am I doing? I don't know how I keep missing. I'm just getting too excited and then I just screw it up. My shooting percentage is not good today. Oh, he's right back. He's right back. There's no way. Got him. Got him, finally. Here we go. Another back shot. 
Dude, why am I doing so bad with the shots? Yeah, at least I got them though. Ooh, baby! There we go, another one. That one's a lot smaller than the last one, but there we go. All right, guys, we just got this second one of the day. Another back shot. I'm really doing bad today, but <laughs> with the shots, but at least I'm getting them. This guy was just in and I missed him for the first shot. I went right by his head, I'm pretty sure. And then the second time he came by and I actually got him, but <clears throat> that one's a solid, I don't know. I uh, shouldn't say solid, but that's probably like a 20, maybe 22, something like that. But it's a fish nonetheless, so let's just get this guy off and I'll give you a better look at him. All right, there we go. Little guy, but hey, the meat just keeps stacking up and we're getting rid of all these pike that are infesting these pond waters. The guy that owns this little pond just wants all the northerns out because there's just so many of them. So there we go. Another one out of the lake. All right, guys, we're walking back. Um, we're going to have lunch real quick and then we'll get, we're going to come right back out and hopefully get on some more. Um, Alex only saw one and it like scurried off super quick. So he wasn't even able to take a shot at it. And then Aiden said he saw, Aiden, how many did you say you saw? I saw the one and then it came, I missed it and then it came back again. And then I stunned it and then I couldn't hit it again. Yeah, that's the story of my life today. Um, I've just been missing him a lot, but yeah, now we're just walking back and we'll see you guys when we're done with lunch and we're back out here. All right, well, we made it back. Uh, we had some delicious tater tot hot dish. That was kind of very delicious, but um, yeah, we're just setting everything up now. I got the sucker down there with, um, and then also the decoy, and I'm just gonna go set up my iFish Pro, and I think we're planning on staying out until dark, hopefully. So let's just wait until we get another fish to come in, I guess, and yeah, we'll see you then. Two hours later. What the heck? I missed him. Oh, I hit him, but I don't think it went through. I think it hit him in the head. A bunch of scales are rising. I think I hit him right in the head. And I think I just knocked him out. Honestly, I can barely even see down there right now. But I could see that the outline of the fish. And I could see the flash right when I hit him. Day two. Well, it's the next day. Um, we ended up leaving yesterday because it just got too dark and we only had a few other fish come through. Alex stuck two of them and then Aiden got one. And let's see if I can get some uh, this morning because we got some overcast and just way better conditions uh, today than there was yesterday. So yeah, hopefully that means more pike will come through and we'll get some more for you guys. So stay tuned. Got that guy. Woo, baby, let's go. Right in the head. Oh, let's go. Here we go. I'm gonna show you guys it outside real quick. All right, guys, we just got this pike. I just smoked him right in the head. This is a little guy, but hey, we'll take it. First one of the day. A lot better of a shot than last time, right in the right in the head so here we go let's go back inside and get some more got him another small guy but it's a fish there we go sweet all right guys well Got another little guy. That one's probably a little bit smaller than the last one. It's probably a 20 incher. But there we go. I'm not gonna go outside and show you much because it's just so cold out. It's like I think it's like three degrees and totally snowy and um, super windy and stuff. So there we go. We got that guy. I was just watching a spearing YouTube video and this guy came in and I nailed him. So 
Not as great of a shot as the last one, but we'll take it. There we go. Let's get another. All right, guys. Well, Alex said he just got a nice big one. So we're going to go check that out real quick. He said it was like a low 30s. So let's see this bad boy. Oh, there you go. Nice one, Al. Here, hold it sideways. There you go. It was like a near perfect shot, too. Oh, he's pooping up a storm. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> I got him right here. There you go. That yeah, that's pretty much right where I hit the last one. Yeah. And I just got... Yeah. All right, well, sweet. Here, give me some knucks. Alrighty, guys. So that's how I'm going to wrap up today's video. Uh, I really appreciate you watching this all the way through to the end. Um, yeah, it was a fun day being out there on the water. I mean, we didn't get any big ones, but it was still fun. Just it's crazy how big the fish look underwater. Like when you look down they look a lot bigger than they actually are. And then that's what gets your heart pounding because it just, oh, right when you see that, you're like, okay, well, I'm about to throw this bad boy down there and hit him, but um, yeah. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.